You are probably guessing I've shown you all the text animations that can be done in the Movavi video editor, but not even close. In this video, I'll show you a few more cool text animations that prove that with a little creativity, you can always create something new. And text animations are important. Animated text not only makes your videos more visually diverse, but also improves retention. Sometimes it's worth going all out on the animation and other times you can keep it simple. So the first animation will be more complex. Look. Here's a video of a cake. You think there is nothing to add, but that's not true. First, I will import the file into the Movavi video editor and drag it onto the timeline. The timeline in Movavi is intuitive and easy to use. And then I will trim the duration a bit to avoid rendering unnecessary seconds. And next, I'll go to the text tab and look for simple text. I will drag and drop the template onto the timeline. And next, double click on the text block and go to the motion section. In the preview window, we should see a a dotted square with a cross in the center. Yep, we're gonna do some tracking. Now I need to find the point to track and after that choose precise as the tracking mode and press track. In a few seconds, the program analyzes the video and connects the text to the tracking. After that, I'll move the text where I want it and change it to, to Movavi. I will also pick a different font and make the text bigger and now I must export the video I got. The next step is to import the edited video back into the video editor, drag it onto the timeline and then go to backgrounds, drag a green background onto the timeline and place this background on the area where the cake should be visible. Export this new video and import it back into the editor one more time. And the third and final step is to revert the timeline to the moment before the text was added and drag this new video with the text and green fragment to the top video track. Now I will go to more tools, find chroma key and click on the green color with the eyedropper. And there you have it, the animation is done. What do you think? I like it. With a bit more tweaking of the color and shape of the green area, it could be even better. But even now it looks very cool. As I promised earlier, the second effect will be easier to do. I have this video where I'm speaking directly into the camera. And first I will make sure to create a second video track. Then I'll go to the intro videos and find new intro. Next I will drag it onto the top video track on the timeline. And to start editing this intro, I will click on the pencil icon. This will open a separate timeline specifically for the intro. In this new timeline, I will replace the existing picture with a block of text. I'm going to use the standard simple text, but feel free to use to choose any text style you prefer. I will then modify the text, select another font and increase its size. I will set the color to subtle gray and make sure it's centered. Next, I'll go to transitions and type glitch into the search bar. Then I'll pick the one that looks the best and drag it onto the intro. These transitions can be made longer or shorter depending on how we want the final animation to look. After fiddling a bit with other settings, here's how the final animation looks like. I think it turned out great. However, keep in mind that the effectiveness of such animations will largely depend on the footage itself. So make sure to choose your effects with care. So as you can see, both simple and complex effects can be done in just a few minutes. Movavi Video Editor is the best tool for such simple yet effective editing. And the video editor is part of the Movavi Unlimited subscription, which combines all the best from Movavi in one accessible and intuitive platform. You get video editing, photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, nine programs, and a year of unlimited access to the effects store for the price of one app. Navigating the tools is extremely simple, preparing source materials, visually designing entire videos, retouching photos. Each of these stages can be done in a few clicks. Unlike professional counterparts, Movavi Unlimited will work great even on an average computer. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan it is a deal that's too good to pass up. But if you feel like focusing on video and photo editing only, just give Movavi Video Suite and Photo Editor a shot. Its price is 35% lower than Movavi Unlimited, but the creative potential is almost the same. So don't miss out on these offers and choose your fighter in the description. Now let's go back to more complex effects with our third text animation. And first go to the background section and pull a green background background onto your timeline and then head over to the text tab and create a new text block. Modify the text, choose a different font, just the color and resize it. Pick a contrasty color. I'm going with pink and you will see why later. Once you're done, export this video. The second step is to import this newly created video back into video.
video editor. Drag it onto the timeline on the top track. On the bottom track, we need to put the background video. In my case, it's a video of yellow paint dripping into water, forming beautiful patterns. I will adjust the scale and position of this video to make sure it's centered. Next, I will select the video with the green background and pink text and in the more tools, find chroma key. Using an eyedropper, I will click on the pink text. I will make it transparent and then I will export this video once again and re-import it into the editor. For the final step, I will place the video of myself from the previous example on the bottom video track and then I'll put the video with a transparent text on the top track. Using the chroma key and an eyedropper, I will remove the green background, but we are not done just yet. I will slightly adjust the speed to make the animation quicker. And lastly, I will go to the animation section and find fade in and fade out. These are pre-made animations that I can simply drag onto the timeline. And after some minor adjustments to the keyframe positions, I ended up with a text animation that looks like this. What do you think? The fourth effect is going to be simple, following the same approach as the second effect. We'll start by creating a new intro. I'll drag this new intro onto the timeline, click on the pencil icon and go into editing mode. Next, I will go to stickers, frames and drag the frame I like onto the timeline. After that, I'm gonna pick and drag and drop animated text onto the timeline as well. I will also change both the font and the text. Once that's done, I'll go back to the original timeline and here I'll adjust the position of this intro within the frame and place it in the bottom left corner of the screen. It's already looking quite decent, but there is still is some room for improvement. I will open the timeline of the intro and move the text a bit lower. After that, I'll squeeze the frame vertically, making it more elongated. By adding a black background, I can make the animation even better. But I think that even if I use this another frame, even without the background, the results look great. It's a really straightforward but visually pleasing animation that can be done in minutes. And by the way, who said you need complex text animation? Sometimes a simple one works just fine. Let me show you. Go to the text section and pick any text animation you like. I will drag it to the timeline, scale it down and move it to a corner. Unnecessary text blocks will stay empty and the middle one will have the text. You all know what mine says. And boom, here is your animation. Done in 30 seconds. Or do you need something more specific for your channel? You can find that too. Like uh, this one here. Just drag and drop and you're all set. The video editor by default has tons of text animations, but you can always download more from the effects store. So as you see, creating text animations isn't hard. You just need to look at familiar tools in a new way. So open your video editor, explore the menus and think creatively. Sometimes the best ideas come from simple tricks. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next one.